Hello and welcome to the final video in the series. We've set up our Next.js headless WordPress blog. We've even gone ahead and styled it with Daisy UI and Tailwind CSS, but we're at the final stage. And that final stage is making sure we actually deploy this online. And we're gonna use that with GitHub and Vercel. Now you don't have to use GitHub, but you need to have a repository somewhere to save this. So it could be GitLab to use some repository online, uh, but we will be using GitHub. So if we uh, essentially create a new repository and you can call it anything you want. So we'll call it uh, curious blog. Uh, so we'll say uh, next.js uh, WordPress Tailwind CSS uh, blog. Ooh. Uh, we don't need any of that. Go ahead and create. And then once we get to this screen, we can essentially uh, go here and grab git remote at origin and basically ignore everything else. Um, and then we go back to our terminal. And what we want to do is just check to see what we've got to uh, deploy. Uh, I don't mind the example getting committed or the changes to the example. Uh, we don't want the idea folder, which is native to WebStorm, getting in there as well. So let's go to git ignore um, and just put here uh, idea uh, not to go in. So then if I check again with the git status, uh, we can see it's gone. Right. So let's add all of this. Add a git message and we'll make sure we're adding all of them. Uh, what are we going to say? So we'll just do initial commit YOLO and we will uh, make sure that we git remote add origin to the new git repository we've created and git push you origin main. Yeah, forgot to add that. Uh, yes, I do want to continue. Cool. So now that's pushed up. If we go and take a look, uh, refresh. And that is our blog on GitHub with a guide on how to use it. Uh, brilliant. So the next thing we want to do is hop over to Vercel and we are going to add a new project and we are going to import it from Git. So it can already tell that I've uh, uploaded curious blogs so we can go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll call the project name curious blog. That's fine. Next yes is the preset let's see yep that's fine now we'll go here to environment variables and we're going to add our wordpress backend essentially uh, emv.local and grab this now vercel is very clever once you paste this it will automatically uh, create it for you with both in there um i think that's about it there's nothing really else we need uh, just double check all this, npm run build or next build, next yes, yes, deploy, let's go for it. Now, fingers crossed this works. Um, it should be as straightforward as that, but let's wait and find out. Now, it says we've got an error. Uh, property preview does not exist on type. So alert preview. Aha, yes, I remember we actually deleted that prop, didn't we? So let's go here. Um, so uh, where is this? Layout, layout, layouts. So preview, yep, we do not have preview anymore. So we can safely delete that. Just double check everything's fine. Uh, yep, it looks all fine still. Let's go back. Uh, and we'll say removed or So I like to write git uh, commit messages in the lens that this is what this git commit message is actually doing. So this, so this git commit is, uh, it removes the uh, preview prop. So I'm happy with that, git push. Yes. Uh, the fun of using WSL where nothing really works. Everything's an error, everything's pain, everything is friction, fun, fun. Cool, uh, let's go down here and inspect deployment and redeploy. We don't want to use existing build cache. We want it to go again. 
Right, fingers crossed it works this time. And that's the cool thing about Vercel. It's got its own pipeline checks in to make sure everything works. And it's all and it's all free. Right. And it seems like it's ready. So let's go take a look. Visit. Interesting. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. We've got our card components and our footer. Let's try it in synthwave slash dark mode. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that is good. A very, very sexy blog. Well, there you go. So we now have this on Vercel. Uh, we've started this um, by using a free WordPress hosting site to actually host our backend. And now we can just make as many posts as we want. So I'm fairly happy with that. And I think we'll call it a day there. Um, it's all working. So if we click a post, we get to actually uh, we get to actually see our posts. Uh, everything is there. Uh, we haven't added a category and that's the text. And these are the other posts that you can go see. That is how to make a headless WordPress blog with Next.js as the front end and WordPress as the headless back end. And it's all styled and put together with Tailwind CSS and Daisy UI. So if you enjoyed that, make sure to like and subscribe. We've got plenty more series on the way, but uh, this has been Curious Bite, and I'll catch you in the next one.